show. Every show it shits me up. Hi, Chris. A round of applause, please, for referee Chris Roberts, everybody. to 11 today there's about 20 people queuing outside which is insane right go and be warm indoors right now it's fucking cold today isn't it yeah. uh, and i know it's really cold out there i want to change things up a little bit today so we're going to start off with something really fucking hot if you guys are all right with that yeah. loud are you all right with a hot start to this fucking show yeah. john riley show what we got My friends, our opening contest is for the Progress Wrestling World Championship! <laughs> Introducing first the challenger from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 209 pounds. This is Matt Riddle! opponents from Auckland in New Zealand weighing in at 192 pounds he is the reigning and defending progress wrestling world champion the Kiwi Bussaw Travis Ladies and gents, welcome to chapter 58. Live your best life. My name is Glenn Joseph, joined by my broadcast partner. Hello, Hello Glenn. And, and Jim said we're starting off hot, and it doesn't get any hotter than this. A Progress World title match in our open contest here. We'd like to switch things up here at uh, Progress. And indeed, today we are opening with the World Championship match. And there's a big story here. We've said that Travis Banks has both been a jockey for position on the floor at the moment. Of course, both men very adept grappling on the mat. You definitely give the edge, of course, to Matt Riddle, though, Matt. 
Yeah, absolutely. That, that Brazilian jiu jitsu. Yeah. Oh, he started off good. Oh. Uh, Brazilian jiu jitsu is <laughs> definitely an advantage. Uh, and like you said, the story going through here is that these two men have met, uh, met this year, earlier on in the year, chapter 52. And Matt Riddle beat Travis Banks. This is very true. Pete Dunn on his kind of quest to stop. No, and, and Matt Riddle going for the. Going for the arm almost immediately on Travis Banks, who manages to escape him. It's a unique way to get out of an arm bar. Instead of trying to uh, clasp his hands together, actually using the ankles and the feet of Matt Riddle to, to get his way out. Matt Riddle was hand-picked alongside, would you believe? Oh! Oh, no! escape. Alongside Keith Lee, Matt Riddle and Jack Gallen. Yours in uh, Boston of all places was picked by Pete Dunn to uh, to soften up for want of a better term. Pete Dunn and Jack Gallagher gave uh, oh, so, sorry to, to soften up Travis Banks by Pete Dunn and uh, Jack Gallagher gave Travis Banks a glowing endorsement at the time and it was of course at Alexandra Palace where Travis Banks beat Pete Dunn for the Progress Wrestling World Championship and it was at Alexandra Palace of course where Matt Riddle lost the Atlas Championship. Yeah, that journey to the title for Travis Banks was no easy journey at all. There was several bumps. Oh, Pinnacent now, Banks. Banks only account two. You know, we spoke about it in Manchester about Travis proving that he is a worthy champion. And I tell you what, that that sleeper almost. Bang, yeah, he's taken his back there and, and managed to brace his, his neck up there so his shoulders weren't on the mat. Yeah, quite impressive for Travis Banks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the point there is he's controlling the hips of Matt Riddle really well. And the transition again, looking for an ankle, maybe. Oh, See just how skilled both men are on their back and on the mat. You know, that's such a such a weird thing to have in wrestling, someone to be that skilled off their back. Obviously, the whole point of wrestling is maintaining that you keep your shoulders off the mat. And that is something you have to readjust when you wrestle someone like Matt Riddle. Well, Matt Riddle has been synonymous with the Atlas division. Oh, dear. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, a bit of weed came out there. Yeah, that former Atlas champion showing that he, he can slug it with the big boys. But Travis not oh. backing down. I mean, anyone who's been on Matt Riddle's... Oh, God. Do you know what? I'm gonna let these chops speak for themselves for a moment. Oh. Jesus Christ, both of these men! Oh. Technically, this is Matt Riddle's second attempt at the Progress Wrestling World oh, Championship. If you count. Oh, God, he got all of that one. Jesus wept. What is something? And I think this is Travis's mentality going into this. It's not just getting a win back on Matt Riddle, it's proving that he can go toe to toe with him. Oh. Just, oh. oh God! Just see the swelts on the chest of Travis. It's just, oh, oh. Why does Travis Banks always end up in the ring with people who can chop your nipples off? Oh, that's our fault. Yeah, yes. Oh, what a kick by Matt Riddle! Of course, Matt Riddle. You'd think the the striking advantage, certainly the range advantage. Oh, what a kick into the chest of Banks. The challenger. Oh, and another one now. Two in a row. Banks showing he can give as good as he gets. Yes, yeah, so it was Matt Riddle at Chapter 39. The grabs of Rathu beat Will Ospreay in a qualifying match. Ended up in that seven man after Mark Haskins vacated the title. Oh, Riddle. When did switch? Travis gets the sleep hold again. Manages to roll through. Oh, and a knee straight into the jaw of Riddle. That is the first time I've ever seen Riddle hesitate with that transition. He thought about it, but had to readjust. Travis took advantage of it and really needs Matt Riddle's jaw off. And Matt Riddle's someone that can throw a knee himself. Travis Banks, we know, can 
dive a little bit as well as he dives to the outside. Yeah, we saw this in their first match of a chapter 52. Oh! His rapid fire suicide dives from Travis Banks. That's why they call him the Kiwi Buzzsaw. And a third one. Oh. I think Riddle stuffed it. Oh my God. Riddle's got Banks on the outside. Oh, exploded into the chairs of the electric ballroom. Well, we haven't started with any half measures here, Matt. No, absolutely not. And, you know, there's a bit of an adjustment, a bit of scouting done by Matt Riddle. These two have faced each other, and they watch every single person on a progress show because they understand that if you are a champion or in contention for a title, you could face anyone at any point. And Matt Riddle, they're showing he's done his research before this match. Oh. And as we said, that the experience edge very much with Travis Banks. Travis Banks is trained wrestlers have been wrestling longer than Matt Riddle. That's pretty incredible. Oh. Shot by Riddle. Good Lord, of course, Matt Riddle already has championship pedigree, the first ever WWN champion, a two-time Atlas champion, the current PWD tag team champion with Jeff Cobb. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was going to be Jeff Cobb, by the way. Oh. Yeah, Riddle's rise Oof. in such a short period of time has been very impressive but you are right in saying that travis banks is a man that has traveled the world for many years learned many different styles in professional wrestling and has adapted them and brought them together in this complete package that we're seeing oh! now that's a little uh, front row bonus there travis banks of course the winner of the oh super strong star oh another kick into the chest oh, god they kicked riddle of ruthless Just to catch it, hits a leg down, an elbow into the jaw of Riddle, rocks him on the outside. So Travis Banks, of course, the winner of the Super Strong Star 16 this year, he chose to take his, oh, this title shot out of Alexander Palace against the then champion Pete Dunne. Matt Riddle was a semi-finalist, losing to Tyler Bate, who Travis Banks beat in the final. Matt Riddle also a semi-finalist at, oh, the Battle of Los Angeles. PWG this year as well, so you know, Matt Riddle isn't slowing down any. He's certainly you know, all over the world at the moment. But oh, oh, right. oh, and a forearm by Banks as well. An interesting point, Matt. You'd think for the amount of travel that a wrestler does that it would wear someone out, but Matt Riddle seemingly has this kind of endless, boundless energy. Yeah, and that's, that all comes down to preparation and, and years and years of experience of taking care of his body and making sure he recovers between each fight. Oh! Back to the head of Steve. Kicks out the leg of Riddle as he charges out of the corner. Sold out electric ball. Ramirez starting to get behind the Kiwi bus saw and he goes for that. Rolling oh. down ball in the corner. Travis Banks is desperate to put these ghosts to rest. And if he manages to defend his Progress Wrestling Championship against Matt Riddle today, he will defeat Keith Lee, the number one contender who he just defeated in the previous chapter, Mark Anderson. It could do with Air New Zealand, but Riddle manages to move out of the way, and he's taking the leg, Matt! Oh, and he's trying to transition, has got it into that ankle lock. Ah! Banks managing to change position. Kicks it to the face of Riddle. And Riddle's just grabbed the other ankle and just in well there. Huge amount of torque on that ankle now. And, and this is Riddle, he can strike from anywhere. The minute he gets his hands on you, it is nearly impossible oh. to escape, but escape Banks needs to do here. Riddle now, great by the legs, around the right leg of Travis Banks. Oh. And Banks makes the bottom row. Once Matt Riddle lies down into that ankle lock, you very, very rarely see anybody escape, but Travis Banks just made the bottom rope better. You know, and Travis survives there, but the, the, the damage that could be done to that leg, like, with some ligaments, some small bones in the ankle, the foot. Oh, big forearm by Riddle. And another in the corner. 
of course it could make it very difficult to hit that slice of heaven. Oh! oh. Good knee by Riddle! Can we go for the broken sleep? He's hit! And a German as well with a bridge! One, two, and... Incredibly close to a new Progress Wrestling World Champion! Oh, and do you see that gun, that little... Sneaky little elbow, just right to the jaw of Travis Banks, and that's a level of frustration that we don't always see from Riddle, a very cool, calm, collected competitor. Oh! Oh! Two back sentence, all of his weight hooks the inside leg. Only a two count. I know it sounds weird to say such an aggressive fight was calm and collected, but he's looking particularly ferocious here. Really incredibly popular with the Progress Ultras here in, in London, in Birmingham, Sheffield, Manchester, and I imagine New Orleans as well when we head over there in April. Oh! Shot the chest of Banks, who's now egging Riddle on. Oh! the walls here. But that's fired Banks up. He's firing back with big forearms. It's back kicking to the stomach. Coming up that slice of heaven. Riddle's on there. Going straight back to that ankle up. That same ankle that he got hold of earlier as well. Oh, and Banks has... Banks has reversed it. That's that lion's clutch. He's got his hands, butchers hooked there. He's got Riddle in trouble. Wrenching back on it. Riddle's... Very rangy, but his legs aren't close enough to that bottom row, but he manages to make it with the free right hand. Great transitions out of offensive manoeuvres by both men here in the opening contest here at Chapter 58. Terror, both men. Riddle manages to check both the kicks. Well, so again, can we go for the up kick? Banks has a scout it. Oh! They both went for a, I think, a front kick, a jumping front kick at the same time there, man. You see both men, the, the, the breathing heavily, and you just see the, the wounds on the chest of both men and legs, and the war of attrition in this match. I 
referee Chris Roberts up to a count of five now. As both men make it back to their knees. Oh. oh. Jaw. We've seen that leaping knee beat Trent Seven in six seconds at the Super Strong Start tournament. And Banks looks real wobbly right now. Leaping forearm by Riddle. Yeah, you can see him in his eyes. He's not quite there. It's understandable after taking a knee like that. And now Riddle has Banks perched up on the top rope. Forearm into the back. Now Riddle to the top rope. So we normally see him at. Banks is managing to hold up on that top row to the stomach. Oh my god. It's a bad position for Riddle to pay pressure off the top row. Banks makes the cover. What? Ah! Oh, fuck me. I'm going to use up all my screen quote in the first match. Matt Riddle. Slides up heaven. Gets all of it. Can we even another key? In the middle of the ring, leg is up, one, two! Oh my god! Travis back throwing everything at Riddle's got that Lions clutch in once again. Riddle's so close to that bottom rope! Riddle taps! What an opening contest here in chapter 58! My goodness! The winner of this match. And still, Progress Wrestling World Champion, Travis Banks! The Electric Ballroom. Everybody on their feet here after that incredible World Championship match, man. Well, for me, that leaves no question in my mind about if Travis Banks is worthy of that title. Okay, Riddle's up. Okay, we've got a situation, lads. It's great to see that both these competitors respect each other, you know. And Travis Banks once again proving that he deserves to carry that title as he continues to vanquish the ghosts of his summer. Well, Matt Riddle loves being here in progress. We love having him here. But the fact of the matter is, Travis Banks is still the Progress Wrestling World Champion.